Welcome everybody, this is Papa Snoozy and it's a beautiful day in Satisfactory. So, for today's episode, this is episode 10, as you can guess about the title, yeah? We have special things to do, we have very special things to do, okay? First of all, for this episode, I want to do something of anything. So, we're gonna do a little bit of base building, we're gonna head out and find some power shards, no, power slugs for the shards. Um, we do automate some stuff and uh, maybe purify the base a little bit. What do you guys think? Yeah, I think that sounds great, okay? So, in order to automate, the next steps would be motors, okay? Motors, as you can see here, for uh, in order to produce five motors per minute, we need ten rotors per minute and ten stators per minute. When we see what the stators are all, all about, that this needs um, we need ten, so we have to overclock this machine. This needs uh, eighteen steel pipes per minute and sixty wire. And for the rotors, we need 18 iron rods and the screws. So that's just iron over there. For the starters, we need uh, steel and copper. Okay, so we can produce motors. So I want to get to 5 motors per minute. So 10 st stators and 10 rotors per minute would be the, would be the case. Okay, I think I'm going to... Um, I think I'm gonna place the staters, let me see, the staters need steel and wire, so there's a lovely steel and the wire is coming from down below, if you can see through this window here, that is our copper, the wire is coming from there, and uh, for the... Rotor department, that's just iron, as I said. I think in this direction are three lovely patches of iron. So maybe we do a little path with conveyor belts on this side to in to our factory here. Or maybe we go um, on top of this, a little bridge there. I don't know yet. But that would be the area we build some... Um, Stators and motors and rotors and whatever. Eh? <laughs> Between episodes, I made this lovely stuff. As you can see here, there's a little building and the conveyor belts transport the our newest items we built in last episode. So the pipes, the beams and the encased industrial beams. And they get stored up in, in this area with this lovely belt here. So. There's two more belts to um, bring the stutters in and the motors, or maybe we take the motors from the other side in. I'm not sure yet. We decide that on the fly. Okay. What else did I do in between episodes? Um, I can show you. Guys, when you jump down here. Blah, blah, blah. Last time I told you I need concrete for the encased industrial beams, so I made this little facility here. Okay, um, I had to overclock this machine for fully in order to produce uh, 50 concrete per minute, so 25 in each machine. And they gonna split up here to our storage and the rest goes up here. Made a lovely little conveyor belt here. Ah, jump up, come on, and you! Hell, man. these Mark III belts are really fast. So the concrete is coming here, coming in here to produce our lovely encased industrial beams. On the uh, Skybridge department, on the Skybridge deal, I replaced all the belt twos with the Mark III belts. The same goes for the iron not jump that far yeah for the iron as well on this side here i don't think i showed you guys our little uh, iron mining here so these two 
These two miners. We have impure, impure iron here. So I had to overclock these machines the, the hell. To the hell. So 200% on this guy and 250 on this guy. To 150 or per minute and 120 means means a lot. Okay, and gets transport up this belt like here. Um, when he search for iron over there, yeah, there are three iron patches. Uh, I think we're gonna hook them up. Maybe we transport them on uh, on this bridge as well to hook them up in the base. Okay, why this uh, stuff all about? So for the next unlocks here, tier 5 and tier 6 in the space elevator, we need 500 model frames. We have that, no problem. And 150 motors. And this game is all about automation, so let's automate the motors first and don't handcraft it. And then we can unlock the next two tiers. I'm very excited all about this, guys. I'm very excited. I'm very excited. So, but first, let me take a selfie. Okay. No. First, go out, find some power slugs, maybe something special uh, as well. We will see. So I gonna head out and see you guys. I'm back, everybody. Under cover of darkness. So as I went out, I found a little cave entrance here. As you can see, I will leave um, a, a beacon like so, and name this beacon cave. Very interesting. Yeah, okay, I just went uh, east from my base to find some power slugs. I found this cave entrance, and I guess we need to chainsaw the things to go through and I'm swimming okay and this once again maybe take the saber out in case of this waterfall oh there's some whoa whoa so many spiders what the fuck come here ouch 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 I cannot Ouch! What the hell? This game thing scared me. What the hell? Ow! Come on. Come to me. Oh, what the fuck? Oh. The sound of the spiders doesn't go away, it seems. Ooh. So scary inside here. Let's heal up first. Ow! What the hell? There's some random damage it gives me. Okay. If we step here... Yeah, it will damage me. What the hell? Oh, what was that? Help me. Grab some bacons to restore health. Oh. I wonder what that is. If I step here, it damages me. Yeah. I slap this thing. No. No. Okay. Ah, oh, there's a spider. Ah, oh, maybe it was that. Oh, restore health. Okay. No. Yeah, damages me. I wonder what that is. I wonder, I wonder. Ow. Here as well. What the hell? Maybe some sort of a bug or... Yeah, no idea guys, <laughs> no idea. What's up in the... in this corner over here. Okay. Let's take this... Mercy Sphere, I guess. Come on. And can we go... I hear some spiders. Can we go up further? No, nothing here. On the top, no. This waterfall, no. Okay, seems like this was... Hey! Seems like this was a little cave. 
Okay, interesting. I guess I don't need that beacon then. Yeah, pick, pick up beacon. Okay, not that interesting, but hey, it's a cave. Okay, everybody, we're back in base. So, except for this little cave you saw, um, nothing special was there. Just one thing. I did not record that because it was a, <laughs> a long journey. And yeah, um, one thing there, I found a beautiful, beautiful place that would be the perfect place for a oh my god base. If you no, what I mean, uh, oh my god, base. If, <laughs> yeah, that would be the the perfect base location if you ask me. Yeah, that's really cool. They're really, really, really cool. <laughs> I wish we found this place at first, but yeah, it is what it is. So, what I managed to found is um, four yellow power slugs, um, fourteen of the green ones, and two purple ones. Then a Mercy Sphere again, Summer Sloop Whip again. Then something special I found is Silicia or the Silica or the Silica or the whatever. It has no picture, it's just a white little icon there. Used in aluminium. I don't think that's available in early access, so it's just a white board. And some Sam ore. Strange alien metal that's glistens with new possibilities. Possibilities, okay. Yeah, we can nothing do with we store that up. Uh, okay, and I managed to find another hard drive. So I will um, un research the hard drive in uh, here. Let's do the stuff uh, we not can use. Place that stuff in here and make all the power shards. Ooh, 14 of these guys. Beautiful. Eight ones here. That's nice. And what else? Uh, the purple ones. I have it in my inventory. Do I have to unlock them? Fabric here. Oh, I have to unlock them first. Yeah, let's do that. Didn't I didn't do that last time. Okay. And 10 of these bad boys more. Yeah, so we had 32 power shards. Child power shard. Bye bye, drop pot. Fly to the sun, brother. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Let me figure out some way to produce some modish and I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, as I am uh, building some uh, stat doors, some stat doors, I hooked uh, them up as well. I'll show you later. In the meantime, uh, the, the mama is f uh, finished and we have an alternate blueprint for the rotors. So, the um, iron cut blueprint, not really interested. Heavy model frames, we're not quite there yet. Maybe we find some uh, hard drives in the future for that. I think we're gonna um, take this rotor blueprint and see what's that all about. These blueprints are um, mostly better than the, the standard one. So we're gonna confirm that and let's see. How's that looking like? Uh, oh, we have to un unlock this first. Tier 1? No. 3? No. 4? Yeah. Okay, so... Um, uh, this ones... I need 3 more. Um, put them in like this. Okay. Alternate blueprint for rotors. So, let's see. Okay, the standard one is... Yeah, not overclocked, this shit. Yeah, of course it's overclocked now. 10 per minute? No, that's not right. Let's grab the sampler. Put it down again. So the standard one is uh, 6 per minute. Need 18 rods and 132 screws. And the new one makes 9 per minute and takes 18 
pipes and 20 no 60 wire what's the difference oh steel pipes um steel pipes and wire okay and this one rods and screws so that's totally different instead of just iron we need steel and wire and yeah i'm a little bit scared about using more steel because it's not that easy to produce okay maybe the hype was uh, a little bit too too much there we need steel and wire and this just needs iron yeah we stick with the old one see you guys in a couple minutes okay everybody little update here uh, i hooked up this actually there's four iron patches here they're not that good they're all impure so yeah it uh, i placed the minor mark two so each machine will produce 60 ore per minute and i made a little structure over here the manta is beautiful flying above and i made this structure as you can see oh there's a little yep that's perfect so, in here, we have some smelters, okay? Just a few, a couple, not that many. It, uh, yeah, it's a little bit overboard, but who cares, right? Okay, so here uh, inside are um, some smelters. They're producing uh, 30 ingots per minute, iron, and they need 30. So, if we do a bit, little bit of math, okay? There is 60 and 60 and 60 and 60 makes 240, right? And each machine needs 30, so I need 8 machines. All hooked up with these beautiful splitters here and the conveyor belts. Only thing left to do is connect that guy to that guy and let's go. Smell that stuff. Yeah, look how it goes. The first one's gonna gonna eat the most of it, but as soon as it gets filled, this machine gets filled, the the other ones in behind will get this the ore as well. So and then it goes in these merchers here, all beautiful lined up. These merchers and when it's all perfectly running, should produce. If we do the math again, 240 iron ingots per minute. So that's gonna provide our motor production. I think that's a little bit too too, um, too far, a little bit too many. But um, maybe we need some iron in the future as well. As you can see on the top, we have this conveyor lift. And when we go back to base, I extended the bridge here a little bit. So these iron ingots on the first Mark III belt will come down here and down here and gonna continue this way to our motor production. So see you there. Okay, everybody, the iron is coming in, there's producing rods and the screws that makes the um, rotors, and here come the staters, the stators, and whatever. The staters are built in here, in the, this machine, overclocked, 167%, makes 10, 10 a minute, needs 30 steel pipes and 100 wire. The steel pipes are coming in from the here, 30. The wire is coming in from down beneath, like here. So there's our wire production. Uh, it makes 90 per minute and this one makes 45. So that's over 100, but one line is going to our storage and the other line, as you can guess, it goes to, to the stators. Okay, that's that. Then um, the motor's coming out on here, so the only thing to do is set up the 
recipe for the motors and we are producing motors everybody perfect perfect okay next step um i want to do store up the the motors on top there so i think we're gonna do the same building as uh, on this side on the on this side here and purify the base a little bit so enjoy the music enjoy the time lapse and catch you there This is all you need Be your everything Yeah, I'll be your everything Still too soon to feel Please just say it's real More than just a thrill Not just in it for the thrill I'm in it for the love Cause love it needs to touch it With our beautiful little manta flying over there, over us, Ooh, towards the mountains. So, guys, are you guys ready? Are you ready, 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 ready? Look at that! Yeah, baby! <laughs> Again, a little overboard, but hey, it's a building game, right? Okay? Okay. So, we have our uh, motor production facility over there. There's our newly connected storages over here. And in this structure over there, we have our whole, whole, whole steel production. Yeah. <clears throat> Pardon me. So, I want to test something out with you guys. Can we jump? Can we jump 
to our uh, storage facility there. What do you guys think? Let's make a little test here. So I'm gonna uh, mark three belts. I'm gonna do mark three belts like this, maybe? Yeah, like so. Little launch, launch, launch thingy here. <laughs> I do not do not have to miss the, the, the jump. I have to press on the right timing, okay? Are you ready? Yeah, yeah. Uh, jump. No, it's not enough. No! Blah, 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 blah. That was close. Yeah, a little further. Would be cool. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'll show you a little bit of the base. We built. So, yeah, the, the motor structure you already saw that. Okay. Little, little bit of tiny structure there. The rod. Rotors coming in like so And here we have our new building I think it looks great. I think it looks cool like a warehouse type stuff Yeah The Manta is now close. It's really close. Look at the lookout tower there <laughs> I'm proud of that guy as well. Yeah, I think it looks cool. It Nice little addition to our base. Um, the walkway on the second story there, all the way around the, the building. And yeah, that's it. So, only thing left to do, everybody, for today's episode. We need 500 model frames and 150 motors. Let's see if the road deal, uh, motor deal is, is complete. Oops. Jump up here. And look at these sexy motors. Oh yeah, baby. Ooh. Sexy, sexy. Like sexy picture. Sexy, sexy. Yeah. So, do we have enough? Oh, yes. Okay, 150 motors and 500 modular frames. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not enough space. We have 100, 250, 400, 500. Yeah, let's go up there. Beautiful space elevator. Do this guy's in. And this as well. I grabbed 100 to less. Ah, Papa, counting me, Papa, is difficult. Okay, you guys, ready? You ready? Last 100 in. Seal that bad boy. Seal that bad boy. No, in P mode, I can't not interact. Okay, seal. Sent crate? Yeah, baby! Woohoo! It's the coolest thing ever. Uh, ever. Next step. Ooh, okay. Una unavailable in early access. Okay. Let's see what we have got new. New stuff. We have new stuff. <laughs> yeah. Tier 5. Ooh, oil processing. Oil refinery, oil pumps. Oh, cool. And manufacturer. A, a truck and computer. Wow. And here? Mark 4 belt. Oh my freaking god. Fuel generators, jetpack, ooh, and the gas mask. Oh, so cool! Jetpack, guys. Ah, oh. yes, so cool, so cool, so cool. So, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, leave me a like. 
leave me a comment in the comment section. Tell me what you think about our uh, newly built um, uh, facilities here. And I thank you very much for watching everybody. Thanks for your support and see you next time. Bye bye.